Afternoon, uh, Joe back here again. So uh, if you're back and you've looked at a number of my videos, uh, really appreciate it. So I hope you're getting some benefit out of it. So um, I wanted to go to indexes. Um, something that's quite important concept um, in, in working with data. Sometimes with large data sets, using the indexes would be a very useful way of working through those uh, data sets and getting the answers you need. So probably just to kind of get a brief overview of indexes, what they're doing before I run any code and go through the code. They basically allow you to assign a value, which is an integer, to each item in the list. So if you have a list of three items, um, an integer value will be assigned to that. It's important to remember that integers start or indexes start at zero, not one. So if you have three items, and I, it, it, the index of the first item would be zero, the index of the second item would be one, and the index of the third item would be two. Uh, that would be, you'll show this, see this quite shortly. You can also, um, when you're working with indexes, and you'll see in my logic down below in a minute, um, tell where tell the index where to start. So if you don't tell it where to start, it will start at zero. And that's the logical start. So I've created some logic here. Um, so what I'm going to do, with this building on some of my previous videos is um, create a list. I've got to create a list here. Pretty straightforward, done that before. Um, what we want to do is find the index list. So what basically this is going to do, this code here is I, it's basically going to, I is going to be the index of the list and X is going to be the value in the list L. So this list here. So I is going to be the index Okay, and X is going to be these values here. This enumerate piece of function here, what it does is it loops, it goes basically to the list L and enumerates basically means it loops through each value till it gets to the end. It's very handy to use and I recommend getting to learn it more. It's used quite extensively in Python um, and it's probably a bit quicker and a bit more efficient than using for and if statements in Python, which a bit more trickier, um, which doesn't mean they can't be used, but enumerate when you have large lists, it's a quicker and more efficient way. So essentially then, then what this does is, this statement obviously prints, and what it will do is for each value of i, which is the index value, it will pre print the x here, okay? Now, tuples and index as you know quite similar obviously the differences are tuples can't be changed um, or amended whereas lists can so in actual fact they're quite similar and when you want to find the indexes of both so it's the same logic all you do is obviously change the reference above here was l for this list um, and obviously going to use m here for the tuple i'm just going to sign it the values here so as you move on what you want to do is, as I described, L0 is the zero is going to be this value A here because it's the first value appearing in the index. So it's a sign of val index value zero. And what we're just checking for here is, is basically is a Boolean. So is L0, is this value here A, is, is L0 equal to A? So it's basically saying is L0 equal to A? It's a Boolean. And if it is, it says this is in true in list. If it's not, it's false. Again, it's the same concept with the tuples, exactly the same, using the index value from the tuple um, and just checking to see is the value A and put true or false. Um, last thing we're gonna do is look and just compare the index values of um, the list to the index value of the tuple and to see do they match. And again, if they match, give back a printout match, or otherwise I will print no match. So what I'll do now is run the code and just give you a quick overview of the output. So start off, again, straightforward, ABC, print ABC, very straightforward. So this is what I was explaining to you before we ran the code, index of list L. It started out at zero, okay? We've we've actually assigned it a value zero, but if we want to start it out of value, index value one, there you go. So it's now one and everything else above is one, two, three. So you can change the index values if you want to suit your needs for the code you're in. 
normally it would if you didn't put start into zero equal to zero in it would just default to zero anyway but it's a handy piece of to put in the logic just so you know you definitely have a starting at zero um but you can't change the one i could change the 10 and then it goes to 10 11 12 goes up by one okay so we've basically created the index for the list so we know a is zero as we described b is one and c is two and it's the same in the tuple a is an index of value of zero an index of value of one index of value of two now where is this kind of help um out so we know we and the first value in the in the list l for z is it has an index value of zero so this basically where our helps is if we want to do a search to that list um we don't want to basically keep kind of going going through each value so we just want to basically say l zero we want to see is that equal to a and um, basically in this scenario it's it's basically looking at the l zero and then it comes across as that's a so it's given it's true in the list apply the same value again for okay, same scenario again in the tuple is m zero which we know this is m so the zero this is a it's equal to true so it's print print true in tuple now one thing we want to check is the index value l zero which you know is equal to a is that equal to the index m zero value a so essentially we want to see does l zero index of a equal to m zero index value a we know from looking at it is um so it's come back as a match but if we change say the tuple index value to index value one so the tuple of index value one is b that now when we run this code will basically come back no match there you go so there you can see there's a very simplistic example of using indexes to check values between lists and tuples you could use this that could be a list as well but you don't even know have to know the values in the list um, what they ex exactly are or the values in the tuples what exactly they are the index will search that for you so i hope this has given you a very basic introduction of how to find index values um, how to print them and then how to change the default start position of them and then how to compare those index values i hope you've got some benefit out of today and thanks for coming back and viewing more of my videos if this is your not your first time thank you